Joining us now at this hour is Sierra Schwartz. She went to Cambridge Ringe and Latin School with suspect number two, Jokor Sarnayev. She apparently had acting classes with the suspect. Sierra, thanks for joining us this morning. Tell us what you know about suspect number two. Of course. Uh, well, I, I went to high school with him, and he was always a very, you know, nice, kind of funny guy. So this is incredibly shocking and absolutely horrifying. Um, you know, he was quiet, uh, kind of shy, but a very nice, you know, it's, it's even, you know, weird to use that word now, of course, but he, he never seemed like the kind of person that could ever do this. Sierra, did you know anything about his background, about his family? No, nothing at all. Um, he, he went by Jahar in high school, so it was his nickname. We spelled it differently, but besides that, you know, he was just a, a, a normal student. Sierra, this is George Stephanopoulos. Thank you for joining us this morning. We've been told that he was here since about the age of, of seven. What more could you tell us about, I mean, did he speak with an accent? How Americanized was he? Did he ever talk about where he came from? No, not really at all. I mean, we are so, my school's very diverse, very open and accepting. We just kind of, he never, he didn't really talk with an accent at all. He um, was pretty, I mean, American, I guess. Sierra, this is Josh Elliott. Can you tell us anything about his family? Did he ever speak of them, and did you ever see them? No, I never did. I never heard about them or, or saw them. Tell, tell us what he was like in school. You told us he was slightly shy, but he was in acting classes with you. Uh, what kind of a student was he? What Did he have a lot of friends? He, Give us a sense of, of yeah, his school. Yeah, he, he had a lot of friends. Um, he was a relatively, you know, well-liked guy, well-known. He took you know, he took a lot of honors classes. He got a scholarship. He was not someone that was, you know, not didn't try hard. He, he did try hard in high school. Did he travel um, a lot? Did he ever miss school? A lot of uh, no. folks now are looking to see if whether or not he may have been traveling back and forth, if he went back home to Russia. Did he feel like he had any connection back to his homeland? Oh, oh, most definitely. He, you know, we all just saw him as another guy. It never, he, I don't remember him ever leaving. I mean, he was just kind of one of the people in our grade. It was never like he, he seemed ever suspicious or weird or anything. So it, it's, it's very shocking for all of us. Sierra, when, when those pictures came out last night, uh, did you recognize him right away? Immediately. Um, at the time, there was still rumor that he had been identified as the student from Brown, um, the one that went missing. But I saw on my phone, um, his picture, the picture of the suspect, and I was like, wow, that looks just like Jahar, that's weird. And I went on my Facebook and I looked for him and I noticed that his Facebook had been deleted. When was the last, um, time, when was the last time you saw him and do you know what happened to him after high school? Any information at all? Um, well, I know he went to college, I believe, but I don't remember where. Um, I saw him, I think, in, in, in Cambridge, yeah, the summer before I went to college, the so summer of 2011. And like I said before, it was just, you know, just normal. I mean, Cambridge is such a tight-knit, close community. My high school, we're all very close, very diverse, and he never seemed out of the ordinary at all. So this, this was not someone who was, you know, seemed troubled in high school or shy. He was just, you know, he was just one of us. And when you saw so the information weird. last night, where, did you call the police? Did you reach out to him or your other friends or anyone who knew him? Um, no, sir, because we were told at the time the media had um, were, was wrong and said he was someone else. So a lot of my friends and I who recognized him just went back to bed. Sierra, what about his we, parents? Did you ever meet them? Were they ever involved in the school? No. What about his no, brother? I, I didn't even know he had a brother. Uh, Sierra, he was also uh, an accomplished wrestler. Uh, what yes. was he? How would you describe? That's at least being a part of a team. Was he? Uh, how, how good was he? What, what sort of athlete was he? Did you have a sense of that? He was a great athlete. Um, you know, he he did well. He I think he won a scholarship for it. Um, like I said before, this is very unexpected. Cambridge is known for you know having some amazing students, accomplished students that go on to do amazing things. This is out of the ordinary, absolutely. This is completely shocking. Sierra, so he was an honor student, a star athlete who had a lot of friends. What is your reaction to seeing what we're looking at right now? He is the most wanted man in America right now. Um, well, when I woke up, it was, it's like I'm living a nightmare right now. Um, it, it can't be described. It's, 
I'm just really hope they catch him. And I just want to say that anyone in Cambridge who knows his whereabouts should definitely call the police because we all knew him for four years, and that's something a lot of people can't say. So. Well, Sierra Schwartz, we appreciate your time with us this morning. Thanks for shedding some light on this young man, this 19-year-old Jokar Sarnayev.